In the shoreline towns of Madison and Guilford, parents of kids who have special needs have formed a group now to help them move forward in uncharted waters. They're part of SEPTO, its special education parent teacher organization, and their goal is to help kids thrive and become independent members of society. News Ann Ann Nyberg joins us live tonight with their story. And these are strong and amazing women. We spent some time with seven moms, a lawmaker who has a grandchild with special needs, and the director of special education in Madison to see how this all works with SEPTO. There are just eight chapters of SEPTO in Connecticut. Moms in the Shoreline chapter want to help others in the state do what they have done, form a meaningful alliance. So I want to know as soon as possible. And they lean on each other to handle their everyday challenging lives. Without support, I, I don't know what any one of us would do. I think that's one of the reasons why we're all here. Society isn't set up the way it used to be, and I think that's why we need a SEPTO. Community, the sense of belonging, families raising babies together. Parents of special needs children have their hands full. The isolation that so many parents feel is lifted in SEPTO. At chapter meetings, they feature those who have overcome their difficulties and who thrive in today's world. That's what I love about SEPTO is we will feature kids and adults who are wonderful, contributing, functioning members of society and not an economic drain. We focus on ability, not disability. Right. This is blue. Dr. Liz Battaglia is instrumental in helping these moms navigate the educational waters for their children. The collaboration between parents and the school district and you know sometimes between parents and school district we don't always see things the same way at a planning and placement team meeting but through SEPTO I feel that there's always that respect. Dr. Battaglia came to her profession because of her own learning difficulties. When I was a child I was pulled out for speech and so then once I started getting pulled out for speech then I missed reading. I am a former special needs student. I had an IEP for speech and language when I was in elementary school. So it's nice to be someone who receives special education services, who now gets to lead the district in providing those services. Um, that's really special to me. Happiness is knowing you've done everything you can. State Representative Noreen Kokoroda's 16-year-old grandson, Jacob, has gotten a lot of help from Madison schools. This is for water. She admits the state has not done enough to help parents and and says SEPTO is picking up some of the slack. Our towns are really stepping up and um, really helping to mainstream these children, helping to get into the you know unified sports program and into uh, programs in their schools. And um, so once you, as long as you're in a school um, and you're under 21, there are things for you. But where the state is not stepping up is that next step. Parents describe it as falling off a cliff. Kokoruda says her family is closer because of her grandson. His every achievement is their joy. I can't tell you what this has done to unify us because we're, you know, we, we're thrilled with it. You can see how passionate I am. Um, we're thrilled with this progress. But without the town of Madison, that would never have happened. The biggest issue I've learned with Jacob is uh, you accept every day, you accept the little things because, you know, the first day he sang happy birthday by himself, it, it, he was eight years old. I'll never forget that day. I think as a special needs parent, it's it's never over. And I, I've seen this through the everyone that I've met. It is, it is a continual process. But I, I'd like to think that we can all grow as people, you know, as individuals, and also as, as community members to help improve things for everyone, not just kids with special needs. And now the first SEPTO in the state was formed in 2010 in Greater Bristol. To form a chapter in your town, contact www.successsepto.org. And the women along the shoreline have said, please let us help you, the rest of the state, put a SEPTO together in your town. It makes a huge difference. You can see just how powerful it is when women come together and support each other, and the collective voice does make a big difference. You betcha. There you go. Back to you, Darren. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. I'm with you. And thank you very much.